Oh no, some, uh, Mormonism, which is oh, false yeah. doctrine, lead people to hell. Yeah. You write about that, brother. I'm glad you're up on it. Yeah. I don't even like seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you know what's in your book? Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So what's gonna happen to you when you die? Heaven or hell for you? Um, I believe that. Uh, I believe that. I'm gonna. Whatever, whatever, however much time happens, it's gonna be a blink of an eye to me. And then, when, uh, then when I, then when I wake up, I don't, I don't really think it is a heaven or hell. So, do you believe Jesus Christ died for sinners and was raised from the dead at all? That's not what Jesus said. And if you are innocent, then you will be welcomed into heaven uh, as his friend. So which would it be for you, Jake? Uh, I don't think it would be either. I think that, really? yeah, I think that uh, if Judgment Day were today, that I would, you know, God would realize that I have a lot of sins. And uh, he would give me the opportunity to be uh, regretful and sorrowful and would, you know, absolve me of my sins. And so even if I wasn't perfect right now, I was yeah. still going to heaven. Wow. And where did you get that understanding of Judgment Day from? Uh, church and school. I went to Catholic you school. Have a, so. Okay, you have a Catholic background? Yeah. Are you Catholic mm -hmm. now? Okay. okay. So it says in Romans 3.20, I, I believe that's the verse, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for, by, for by works of the law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. So through the law comes knowledge of sin. Now think how they interpreted verse 28. They said that the law there is only speaking about animal sacrifices. Contextually, there's nowhere that... So they would have to prove that the law changed from verse 20 to 28. So my argument is, if knowledge of sin comes through the law, and you insert it that the law is animal sacrifices, are you saying once you slay an animal, you know you've sinned? Do y'all get what I'm saying there? So, act, and that's the, that's the argument I usually get, but it's... It's absurd because we know in the old covenant, right? They knew they sinned, therefore they did the yeah. animal sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. it's, not, it's not when they peace, right? It exactly. Was, you know, it's not. It's not when they slay the animal. They're like, oh man, I sinned, and they realize that. And so that's kind of how I use that verse against them. And and, it, and even into Romans chapter four, yeah. Paul even goes deeper on how Abraham had. Uh, was blessed and received the righteousness before, before any works of before the law was even given 400 years before the law was given right. and so it cannot be works of the law Paul labors that point in Romans that's why I love the book of Romans it's apart from works right and so that's typically my biggest grievance with them also their definition of grace is very troubling so as a Christian, right, our view of definition of grace is, right, unmerited favor, people may find it as getting or receiving something you didn't deserve, right, things like that. Their definition of grace, so, so maybe you've heard it like this, uh, when, right, we all got bills, right? So when you don't, pay, when you need extra time for your light bills, what do they call that? A grace period. Grace period. Uh, uh, you need an extension before you can pay it. That's how they view grace. Grace is all grace is, is an extended period of time so you can keep the law. Oh, the dudes on the corner claim the Israelites, and you are too. As long as you're not a need of mine. They use the Bible for their racism. Yeah, they even hate.
women And it's about time that we get on this To expose the false doctrines They a bunch of hypocrites to pray, pray And I know they not saved Oh, you don't believe me? Check out how they behave A bunch of guys trying to find a kid in here Needs to be in Christ your vocab We got the remedy But the ice do the right of me 28 they actually think it's about the slave trade This doctrine causing so much destruction Tomorrow is consumption only leads into your corruption I'm patient with them, yo, I love them So, so sit down to this discussion If you're trusting in the law, then you're doomed Cause God's holiness will have you totally consumed He don't want your best, he wants perfection Trust in Christ alone, not in your complexion From your heart determines if you're true is a light not your melon in the nation, y'all, let's get it right It don't matter if you're Gentile or Jew The gospel is a hope, yeah, that can make you new If you're trusting in the law, then you're doomed Cause God's holiness will have you totally consumed He don't want your best, he wants perfection Trust in Christ alone, not in your complexion From your heart determines if you're true, is a light Not your melon in the nation, y'all, let's get it right Don't matter if you're Gentile or Jew The gospel is a hope, yeah, that can make you new what should I begin? How about the fact that they believe that Christ sinned? They affirm reincarnation that he was one Solomon. If Jesus sinned, he's no better than Muhammad then. If that's not appalling, more to criticize. The personal work of Christ, they also minimize and reduce them. Caboose them. In scripture, they misuse them. Believe they all got to. So I guess they reproduce them. Don't get me started on this false gospel they promote. They plus works won't justify any soul. If you think it does, you got a bad view of the law. Cause if you broke one, you broke in them all. Doctrine only leads confusion, spiritually reduced to beliefs and constantly an evolution. Damn, assertions are never proven, always assuming I got the solution. Trust in Christ, stuff and substitution. And if you don't, then all of you will perish. Salvation ain't based on the color of your parents. And if your low Christology isn't corrected, You'll see the true God of Israel, not yours expected Cause he's fully God and he's fully human This glorious doctrine called the hypostatic union Jesus came to save man for every time, tongue, and nation Men from all races will thank him and praise him And if you don't, even all of you will perish Salvation ain't based on the color of your parents and if your low Christology isn't corrected You'll see the true God of Israel, not yours expected Cause he's fully God and he's fully human This glorious doctrine called the hypostatic union Jesus came to save man from every tongue, tribe, and nation And from all races, we'll thank him and praise him, yo are looking to share God's gospel. That, that's awesome. Cool, man. Dude, I'm so encouraged by yeah, What's man. your name? I'm Chris. Chris, Chris. and Chris. Yes, that's yes, right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, so great meeting you guys. What, a, what, what an encouragement you yeah, guys man. are. Just uh, just keep on keep on going forward. Thank and, you, man. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate your encouragement. Yeah, yeah exactly. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, and um, mutually encouraging each other. Exactly. It's, it's a good thing. Hey, y'all want to hear something real funny? Uh, your ancestors did not believe in the biblical God until you were brought, <laughs> until your ancestors no, were brought over. No, that is false. false. Christianity was thriving in Africa long before long, slavery. Long, long you ever heard of long. Athanasius or Augustine? We can bring up Augustus. African bishops, Tertullian. I mean, yeah. there are many. Have you heard of Athanasius before? Guilty. And your only if, hope is Christ. If I die in... Uh, you will die. If I... If no I, if. If, <laughs> if I burn in hell, so be it. We, we, you we know that's that. What, but that's, in hell. Exactly. I, See, you won't enjoy the wrath of God. You seem mighty right now, but when you stand before the mighty God, you will become a punk. Um, two brothers, and I didn't realize this at the time because, you know, you can see people's faces. And I've met these brothers when I've been in Dallas. They go to Emilio Ramos' church in Dallas. And so I've preached there. I mean, I went with Emilio's church to Israel last year. Um, and so, you know, I've woken up at two o'clock in the morning to pig sacrifices at Mila's house. It's just, um, <clears throat> anyway. Um, and, uh, so I didn't put that together cause you don't see them very long here. And, and if I saw them at Emilio's church, that'd be one thing. But when you see them in a park in Tempe, it's like the context goes bye-bye. Um, so <laughs> evidently one of them had been out running and had run into Steven Anderson and had started talking and then gone back and said, Hey, I ran into Steven Anderson. And so I guess this was like the second conversation. I think, I don't know. We talked briefly yesterday. They came to Apologia and we talked briefly after the service yesterday. And so I said, Hey, I want to get to this and, and, and listen to this. And so I want to do that to sneak it in here. 
um, toward the end of the program. My point. Am I no, wrong? I'm not interested in this conversation. You're not listening. Salvation I, I thought I was. Faith, your teaching works. That's right. what I'm See asking. You I thought I was you guys listening to you. Salvation, and you know what? If you don't get off that, you're not saved. But we don't have to fully trust what Christ did, not this thing of, oh, well, you know, God's going to change me, and then I'm going to start doing all the right things, and that's why I'm saved, because I turn from my sin. That's a false doctrine. May I ask you another question, I'm if you're willing? I have other things Fair to enough. do. There are four million people in the city. Pick someone else to talk to, I, I share the gospel. I'm not interested. This is not the gospel. This is a false gospel. That's what I'm trying to ask The gospel I'm trying to is, ask believe you. on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. But that's the gospel. Your gospel is, turn from sin, and you'll be saved. It's not true. Okay, I are, look, this is the second time we're having this conversation. I'm not interested. You're here just filming me I because you want to use my... Oh, really? That's why you have two cameras on me right now because you're not here to this film me. On. You're a liar. You have two cameras this, on this me. This isn't on. You're filming me. I, are you filming me with that? You're not filming me? Yes, yeah, okay. You're here to film me <laughs> I didn't because you want to use my you're, YouTube channel you know, to promote me. yourself. You're, okay? I don't have you a are channel. wrong. Steven, I don't have a YouTube channel. Don't, don't call me you. Steven. I don't I'm not your friend. I know you. You're probably not. Go away. I, I love you, though. Look, the Bible says, you. the Bible says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. I have told you repeatedly that what you're teaching is a false doctrine, and I reject you. I'm trying to learn Leave. from you. I'm trying no, to learn you're not. What you believe. You're trying to teach a false doctrine and make Steve, a video. Steve, can, can, I want you to leave me alone. Okay. I've, I'm on the phone. You've right, interrupted me four times. I'm doing you. my job. Have a good day. You interrupted me four times. I want to be left alone. There are four million people in this city. Go talk to someone else, okay? Hey, you are a damnable heretic preaching lies. Go preach your lies to someone else. Preach your lies to someone else. I don't love heresy. I don't love false teaching. I don't love work salvation. Leave me alone. Why don't you leave me alone? I'm not here to quarrel with you. Okay. I want to be left alone. Chris, let's go. Leave me alone. Do not talk to me I'm again. I'm following you. You have come here three times, and I want to be left alone. All right. I will never bless someone who reads a false gospel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you say? Um, 